Can we really create new universes in a lab? The idea starts with some heavy-duty physics involving quantum mechanics and general relativity. These aren't just the stuff of academic textbooks. They describe the very fabric of our universe and might allow us to craft a new one. Now, how might this work? Picture the early moments of the Big Bang. There was a sudden rapid expansion of space known as cosmic inflation. Some scientists think that if we could replicate this process under lab conditions, that we might kickstart our own mini-universe. Sounds like a sci-fi plot, right? But it's grounded in real, albeit theoretical, science. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves with the excitement. The technology required to even begin thinking about this seriously is way beyond our current capabilities. We're talking about energy levels so high that they dwarf anything our current particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, can achieve. And it's not just about creating a universe, it's about the implications of doing so. Ethically, it's a minefield. What if life were to eventually develop in this new universe? What kind of responsibility does that place on us? These are not just scientific questions, but deeply philosophical ones, touching on aspects of creation and existence that have traditionally been the realm of theology. Despite the excitement, the scientific community remains skeptical. For most, it's a fascinating thought experiment more than an imminent reality. But as always in science, future advancements could open up new possibilities. So, while we're not about to become universe-creating gods anytime soon, exploring these ideas is crucial. They push the boundaries of what we know about physics and our place in the cosmos, and who knows, one day these theoretical musings might just redefine our reality. Now that we've dipped our toes into the idea of lab-created universes, let's delve deeper into some of the leading theories about how new universes might be formed. First up, in the quantum realm, particles can pass through energy barriers they normally couldn't. Imagine a quantum fluctuation so powerful that it leads to an entirely new universe branching off from our own. Next, according to string theory, our universe is like a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space. When these brains collide, they could potentially generate new universes, triggering events similar to the Big Bang. Some scientists propose that when matter collapses into a black hole, it might pass through a singularity and emerge as a new universe. This new universe would be entirely separate from our own, residing in a different region of space-time. Then there's the idea of our universe might exist in a false vacuum, a metastable state. By triggering a decay into a lower energy state, a bubble of true vacuum could expand and create a new universe. This would require manipulating quantum fields on an unprecedented scale, suggests that during the rapid expansion of space, pocket universes can form and become separate entities. This theory aligns closely with our understanding of the early universe, also proposes the existence of multiple dimensions and brains. Interactions or collisions between these brains could potentially create new universes. Finally, a theory posits that each black hole could give birth to a new universe within it. This idea remains highly speculative, but intriguing nonetheless. As you can see, the theories about creating new universes are as diverse as they are mind-bending. While these concepts remain largely theoretical, they push the boundaries of our understanding and fuel our curiosity about the cosmos. Now that we've journeyed through the theories of creating new universes, let's dive into one of the most intriguing concepts. How do black holes relate to universe creation? This theory, known as black hole cosmology, suggests that within every black hole there could be a new universe. Imagine this. When a black hole forms, the material it crushes into its singularity reaches an incredibly high density and temperature. Some physicists theorize that these extreme conditions could spark the birth of a new universe inside the black hole. This new universe would expand in its own dimension, separate from the parent universe where the black hole exists. The idea is that our own universe could have originated from a black hole in another universe, creating a potentially infinite nesting of universes like cosmic Russian dolls. Black holes have a profound effect on time and space due to their extreme gravity. Let's break it down. Space. The gravity of a black hole is so strong that it warps the fabric of space around it. This warping is what we perceive as the hole's gravitational pull. The closer you get to a black hole, the more space is curved, leading to phenomena like gravitational lensing, where light bends around the black hole. Time. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity can also slow down time, a phenomenon known as time dilation. 
Near a black hole, time runs slower compared to areas with weaker gravitational fields. If you were to approach the event horizon of a black hole, the point of no return, an observer far away would see your clock ticking more and more slowly until it appears to stop at the horizon. The concept of black holes creating new universes opens up a realm of infinite possibilities. It suggests that every black hole could be a gateway to a new universe, each with its own unique laws of physics and cosmic landscapes. As we continue to explore the mysteries of black holes and their potential role in universe creation, we inch closer to understanding the grand tapestry of existence. Let's take a step further and explore what happens inside a black hole. Inside a black hole, the laws of physics as we know them reach their limits. Here's what current theories suggest. At the center of a black hole lies the singularity where matter is thought to be infinitely dense and gravity is infinitely strong. The known laws of physics break down at this point. Surrounding the singularity is the event horizon, the point of no return. Once crossed, nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull, not even light. If an object were to fall into a black hole, it would experience extreme tidal forces. These forces would stretch the object in the direction of the singularity and compress it from the sides, a process humorously termed spaghettification. Time would appear to slow down as one approaches the event horizon due to gravitational time dilation. To an outside observer, objects falling into a black hole seem to freeze in time at the event horizon. Quantum mechanics predicts that at the event horizon, Hawking radiation occurs due to particle-antiparticle pairs forming with one falling into the black hole while the other escapes. There's a debate about what happens to information that falls into a black hole. The information paradox arises from quantum mechanics suggesting information can't be destroyed, while general relativity suggests it can't escape a black hole. Inside the event horizon, all paths lead to the singularity. It's theorized that space and time as we understand them cease to exist in any familiar way. The formation of a black hole is a fascinating process that involves several stages. A black hole forms from a star much more massive than our sun. Throughout its life, the star fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing energy that provides the pressure to counterbalance gravity. Eventually, the star exhausts its hydrogen fuel. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse heavier elements until iron is produced. Iron fusion does not release energy, so the pressure that holds up the star's outer layers diminishes. Without the outward pressure from fusion, gravity causes the core to collapse. This collapse happens in less than a second, causing temperatures to spike and densities to increase dramatically. The rapid core collapse rebounds off the dense core, creating a shock wave that blasts the star's outer layers into space in a supernova explosion. This is one of the most energetic events in the universe. If the remaining core mass is about three times greater than the sun's mass, no known force can stop the collapse. The core shrinks to an infinitely small point with infinite density, known as a singularity. As the core collapses, it warps space-time around it, creating an event horizon, the boundary where the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. Nothing can escape from within this boundary, not even light. The singularity and its event horizon form a black hole. It continues to grow by absorbing mass from its surroundings, including stars, gas, and even light. 